Hola, mi nombre es Yamila Musaiba, soy de Azerbaiyán. Hoy voy a mostrar a vosotros lo que tengo aquí en mi bolsa de maquillaje. Ok, with all the joking introductions, uh, as usual, my video is going to be in English since my channel is entirely in English. I am Jamila Musaiba, an international etiquette consultant and author of etiquette books. If you would like to order my books, they're now available directly through my website. You can order your signed copy and it's now worldwide available. If you are someone new to my channel here, I talk about etiquette, soft skills, self-development. If you're interested in all of that, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you are a returning viewer, welcome back to my channel. I'm super delighted to see you here. If you are someone who is really interested in learning about etiquette in more depth, you can purchase my online dining etiquette course that's also available on my website, as well as join my Patreon movie club, where each month I publish etiquette lessons learned from a particular movie. So far, I've done over 20 different movie analysis, and by joining my Patreon etiquette movie club, you can see all those movies that I have analyzed. Without further ado, let's get started with today's video and that's something that you have a lot requested not just on YouTube but also on my Instagram page. I get a lot of questions asked about what are some of my must-have items in my makeup bag, what are some things that I repurchase and just generally whenever I post a picture, a selfie, uh, people ask me you know, what kind of products I'm using, I'm using for my lips, for my eyes, for my eyebrows. So to answer all those questions collectively, I decided to make a new updated video on my what is in my makeup bag. In today's video, everything that I have on my face, so all the products that I've used to kind of get myself ready for this video are in this little makeup bag. This is something I carry with me whenever I'm traveling. It is something I have here on my desk at, uh, at home. So if I'm in a rush, I'm about to go anywhere. So this is just the kind of a makeup look that I have created for myself, which is my go-to makeup look. So it really doesn't take that much time. Um, I have shown in this video, I will be showing you how I'm doing my makeup, but uh, in reality, it just takes less than, I would say, five minutes to do all of that because I've already trained to, to use these products. And also I think it's because I've narrowed them down to the essentials. So I don't have too many steps and I don't have too many products. Uh, so I just stick to whatever I have and I know that it works for me and for me in general makeup is about enhancing the features that are already strong for you so those things that you love about yourself you just enhance that or bring attention to that and then you know certain things that you would like to disguise you just use makeup to kind of dim it down a little bit so in my case for example i have really dark circles underneath my eyes and they're kind of hollower so i use concealer to hide them i don't use makeup in a way that i you know reshape my face I don't use makeup to change my features, um, to you know, to change my nose shape or my lip shape. I just underline things that I know um, are my strong parts, and I try then um, to hide some things that I don't feel secure about, which is something we all have, and it's okay. So this is my favorite makeup bag. I think it's a perfect size. It's a great size for just using it for daily um, wear. I mean, I put it into my big bag, and I can carry it around with me. When I switch to a smaller bag, I have a smaller size of this that I can carry around with me. But this is like my go-to makeup bag that I travel with. So let's see what's inside. I will be showing you some also skincare items as well, but that's because I can't imagine doing makeup without having my skin prepped for the makeup. Because I have a super, super dry skin, um, I need to moisturize it and make it dewy so that then the, the products will just glow and slide rather than just stick around and then be cakey on my face. Uh, so first things first, uh, I love, I've shown this many, many times, is this Caudalie water. Uh, it's available in a lot of pharmacies in Europe. I don't know where you can purchase it in the US, but I'm assuming through Amazon. Uh, so this is my travel size. I have bigger sizes at home as well. This is just a really nice water mist, so to speak, that you can use as a base before the makeup and even after you've applied the makeup. You you can use it to just fixate the makeup that you have done. Um, it's a very light, it smells like foresty, green kind of smell, very fresh. It doesn't have a pungent smell, so anyone who's sensitive to fragrance can easily use it. And it's just a very nice moisturizing base for your skin before you start doing the makeup. 
Next is my ultimate favorite product that I have been purchasing and repurchasing it um, is this by Shiseido which is an emulsion um, against uh, wrinkles and it has SPF 20 so it's great uh, to use winter time and summer time it's a very because it's an emulsion it, it has a very smooth texture it's not very heavy it is very good at moisturizing the skin but it doesn't leave it like feeling sticky or or just heavy on your face so doesn't create any rolls when you apply uh, like you know BB cream or SPF after it's just a really nice uh, base to smooth out your skin and just prepare it for the for next product you're going to use so this is my favorite for the face and for the underneath my eyes I use this Soin Regard Lift Intense uh, by Embrolis uh, which is also a French brand I love a lot of French pharmacy products I can do a whole video about it and as you can tell there's very little left in here so I just do one or two pumps and just do underneath my eyes but I also applied a little bit over my eye as well I kind of moisturize all around the area of my eye and whenever I have a little bit left over I apply it to the sides of my of my mouth like these deep wrinkles that we have when we smile um, I apply all the eye creams there too I don't know why it's just what I do but I guess whatever you can apply underneath your eye it's safe to apply all over your face because eye creams are usually much softer and more gentle than the face creams Next, as always, uh, as in every makeup video that I do, I can't imagine my life without eye drops because I do a lot of my work over the phone and on my laptop. So most of my work is online trainings, you know, shootings, content creation, writing things, scripts out. It's all it all involves a screen. Uh, so by the end of the day, my eyes are just so tired. Uh, they're just so um, dehydrated. So I use this Lumify eye drops. They are amazing. I have been, you know, I've stuck them up when I was in US in September. I think I just bought everything they were like they had in CVS. Um, what I love about it is it's very hydrating, but also it kind of lumifies your eyes. It, it's great, especially on the days when I have a shoot or a photo session and my eyes have to look fresh for the shoot. This is my go-to item in pretty much every bag that I own. So these drops. Now that I have prepped my skin and have kind of like prepared the base for the makeup, uh, the only thing that I use, and that's not something that I would consider necessarily makeup it's also more like a skincare it's this by Shiseido it is SPF 50 which is very water resistant it says wet force quick dry and this is the best SPF cream that I have owned um, it comes in different shades there's light medium and I think darker color and I just you know use the light one and I use them winter and summer in winter it's just I use it as a BB cream and in summer I just use just this um, also as an SPF but also just like giving me a little bit of a glow so this is the only item that I use I don't I stopped using BB cream I don't use CC creams I only use foundation a very light one when I'm going to a wedding or a birthday party and like somewhere where I have to be very glammed up then I'll opt for that but for daily wear, I definitely go with this. I never leave a house without this one. The next thing that is a must in my makeup kit as well as a skincare kit is this uh, Chanel um, lip balm. It has no color in it. It's just like a plain um, transparent balm. What I love about it, I use it both as a prepping state for my lips. Um, so while I'm doing my skincare, I'll, I'll do my lips as well and let it hydrate my lips. Uh, you know, if I have any cracks, just smooth it out. And then before I do my lip liner, I'll cleanse it, do lip liner. I'll show you later in the video how I do it. But this is something I'll be reusing. Uh, next, I am using this uh, Chanel uh, Le Beige, which is a sheer healthy glow highlighting fluid. I don't use uh, for now any um, blush because I tend to blush myself. So if I'm shy, if I'm hot, if you know, if uh, the room is hot, I tend to get really blushed cheeks so I stay away from blush right now because then it's like too much of it on my face instead I opt for a highlighting fluid glow that I do 
over my cheeks like that that gives this illumination to my face and I also do it a little bit over my eyelids and if it's a shoot day if I have something open um, then I will apply it on my collarbones as well as on my neck so this is that product that gives that glow to my neck something that you always ask what is that, that I'm using to highlight my collarbones so this is that and uh, afterwards uh, I use this little brush uh, this brush is to brush my eyebrows and if I have lash extensions which I do right now as well uh, I do them every time that I need to travel and I don't have much time to put eye makeup on uh, of, I'll opt for an eyelash extension because then I don't have to apply any mascara or sometimes even no eye makeup and the eyes just look so wide open so this is something I'll carry around even if they, I don't have any lash extensions I'll just use it to brush my eyebrows so this is the little brush and once I have brushed my eyebrows I have this um, uh, brow contouring primer which is softer than a gel it's that it the gel that I have been using before it sticks the eyebrows like a glue and then you know throughout they're, they're just they look so stiff um, and they don't look very natural so I opted for this softer uh, primer that kind of brushes them over but it doesn't dry them out throughout the day so i just then reuse this brush to brush them again throughout the day they don't really make your eyebrows stick but they kind of give it that really nice shape and thicken them up a little bit so this is what i use for my eyebrows uh, for my eyes uh, i use on this color uh, eye pencil by nyx it is in a color i think brown what i like about this pen is that I stopped using black eyeliner for daily wear because I have black hair, black eyebrows and this black eyeliner on my white skin. It just looks too much for daily wear. I opted for softer but darker browner shades so that gives my it, it matches my eye color and looks more natural with my overall look and doesn't make my eyes look intimidating. Um, what I love about it is that it comes in two sides it has two sides there is this pencil side that you don't even need to sharpen it's just so easy to carry around you just pull it out like that and then it has a little brush like this you do your eyeliner whatever you want to do like a wink you can leave it like that or if you want a more smudgy look then you can use this little brush to just brush it over and create this more smoky look um, as you can tell so far in my makeup bag i don't have any brushes i don't have any sponges i don't like to use something extra on my face i make sure my hands are clean and i use my hands to apply everything on my face next i have this nyx uh, concealer for underneath my eye, my eyes and over my eyebrow, underneath my eyebrows, and if I have pimples here and there, then I'll use it to cover it up. Um, I use two, two different kind of shades. This one today is vanilla. There's one that's more rosy as well because I have a cool undertone and it has a more pinkish uh, color to it. So I try to use a lot of products that have pink in it um, as a pigment. Uh, so it depends really on my on the season and what my skin color looks like then I'll adjust and adapt but this is the concealer I've been using for a really long time and I'll do a little bit underneath my eyes as I explained earlier I have darker circles and I have more uh, narrow like sk my skin is much more um, delicate underneath my eyes so the veins that are underneath are very much visible that gives this darker look to my eyes underneath my eyes so I definitely you know I can't even leave the house without a concealer so this is my must-have item underneath my eyes and then a little bit underneath the eyebrows to kind of elevate them uh, if I have used um, you know some kind of an eyeliner or uh, eye pencil then I'll apply a little bit on the edge as well to kind of give it a more cleaner look and if you know I have any redness around my nose or again any spots then I'll just use this just a little bit to cover it up I don't do it too much because I don't want to completely mask my face but I add a little bit to just make the color look more faded in a way so the last products that I am using are my lip liners the two I had to pick one I was thinking for this video but then I thought it would not be fair not to show both because these two are really my favorite combo I have a whole uh, you know a whole holder of different kind of pencils for the lip lip liners but um, my usual go-to if I have to travel and I have only to take two then these two are my favorite this is um, Charlotte Tilbury which is called lip cheat and it gives a little bit more of a pinkish color to my lips and then this one is number seven that I 
bought in a pharmacy in Dubai. It has a more brownish shade to it, so more beige-ish. And I like the combination of two because then it's not too pink and it's not too brown. It's kind of the perfect combo of the two. I haven't found the one that matches my lip tone, so I usually mix one, two, or sometimes even more eyeliners to get that shade that I'm looking for. And after this, and you'll see how I'm applying my lip liner, I never do it with rough lines. I dab it in a way and use my finger to smudge it all over to give it a more natural look. And then to finalize, I usually add another layer of hydration. Um, again, I go over with a lip balm so that it gives a more glossy, kind of more juicy and dewy look to my lips. Um, so this is all I have in my makeup bag and these are the products that I will fly to the end of the world with knowing that this is you know the things that will always make me look prepped for daily makeup as well as I can easily go out to a party like this or even to a wedding and um, and it's important I think when you are creating a signature go-to look as Find the products that really work for your skin color, for your skin undertone, for your you know facial features, um, the products that really work great for you no matter what anyone else is saying. As long as you've tested it and you know for sure it works for you, go and you know invest in them. And then try to narrow down your makeup uh, back to the most essential items that are easy to apply and easy to wear and work best for you. These are just the things that work for me, but they might not necessarily be the ones that you love. Uh, so try to go on creating your own perfect go-to signature look using your own favorite products. Thank you so much for watching this video until the very end. I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed it. Please let me know down in the sec comment section below which of these were your favorite products or maybe you have your own go-to products or tips or tricks when it comes to makeup and skincare. And do let me know as well what are some of your video suggestions for the next topics and I'll be more than happy to shoot new videos for you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!